Hey everyone, welcome back to daily tuition. In this tutorial, we will understand what is set timeout method. In the previous lecture, we had learned what is set interval method. In this tutorial, we will understand where to use set timeout method and how to use it. So let's get started. So first, we will understand what is set timeout method. The set timeout method is used to execute a function after a specific millisecond. The set timeout method is identical to the set interval method, but the only difference is the set timeout method is execute a function after a specified millisecond. The syntax of this function is this. So I will just say set timeout and in the parenthesis here, the first argument is a function and the second argument is millisecond, right? Now in the set timeout function, the 1000 millisecond is equal to one second right this is same as set interval function just after that i will just create a simple example here to understand how to use set timeout method so i will just say example here right so in dome.html file here in the body of this file i will just create a paragraph with the class alert para and just specify some text so i will just say after three seconds text will be changed right after that i will just create two buttons here and just specify type button and the class is gonna be start and the text is start me I will just copy this button, paste it here, and just change this text to stop. And this class is gonna be stop, right? Oops. Save this document. So you will get your simple paragraph and two buttons here. I will just change some style to this button. So I will just say button padding is gonna be 0.5 em and 2 em right and for the paragraph i will just say font size 2 em now in main.js file i will just create start me click event and stop me click event so on start i will just call the alert box so when we click on the start button I will just call the alert message here and change this text right we will use stop me button to stop the execution of the function right so here i will just create a simple variable so i will just select clear this variable is stored the id of set timeout method when you call this method this method is return an id to stop the execution and we are using this id to clear timeout function right so this variable will store the id of the timeout method just after that i will just say document dot query selector and just select the button using start class and just say add event listener the first parameter is the event so i will just say click and the handler function is my second parameter right just after that here i will just say set timeout i will just call this set timeout method and on the first parameter here i will just call a function here so i will just say alert me we wanted to create this function first so i will just say here function alert me so in this function i will just call alert method so what is alert method alert method is used to display alert box with a message and an ok button we will often use this alert box when we want to make sure the information comes from the user right so to call this alert box we are using alert method here on the first argument here i will just specify message here so i will just say your three seconds is over right just after that i will just change this text of the paragraph so i will just select the paragraph using document.query selector 
and say here alert para and change the inner text so i will say inner html is equal to and say time over right now i will just call this function in the set timeout method right on the first argument i will just say alert me now just after that on second argument we wanted to specify millisecond right so i will just say 3000 here so the set timeout method will execute this function once after a three second right so i'll just save this document and just click on this start me button so when you click on this button after three seconds you will get your alert box here oops i think something is going wrong yes i just misspell here i miss t here right i often do this mistake all the times so i'll just say t here and start this execute this document again and click on the start me so after three seconds you will get your alert box right this is your alert box and just this is your message your three second is over and your ok button so i will just say ok here and the text of the paragraph will change to time over right now when we click on this button now what i wanted to do is i just wanted to stop this execution when we click on this stop me button before the three second we just wanted to stop this execution of the function so to do that we have clear timeout method using this method we will just clear this interval and stop the execution of this function right so here i will just specify this variable so i will just say clear is equal to so this set timeout method will return an id to the clear variable the id is simply an integer to identify the set timeout method right now i will just create a click event on stop me button so i'll just copy the statement and print it here and just change this class to stop and just get rid of this statement and here i will say clear timeout and in this method i will specify this id right so i will just say clear here so i will just save this document and just say here start me now you will get your alert box now i just want to stop this execution when we click on the start me button right so i will just execute this document again and click on the start me and just stop this execution right so when you click on the stop execution you will not get any alert box and this text will not change right so using the clear interval method you can stop the execution of the set timeout method right as simple as that as you know to continuously execute this function you can use set interval method right that's it i hope you understand what is set timeout method is all about and what is clear timeout i hope you understand how to execute a specific function after a specific millisecond that's it i hope you understand this lecture don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't press the like button if you find anything useful we will see you in the next tutorial